Text in to 78592. Tell us what's the craziest way someone's ever ghosted you. Ooh. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Just a decade ago, mm-hmm. if you got ghosted, that meant a poltergeist or mm-hmm. some ungodly vision <laughs> entered your body, <laughs> and made your head spin around, and things shoot out of your mouth. Yeah. Which was kind of a fun date. Yeah. I mean, as Alexis calls it, spring break. Yeah. <laughs> But now, being ghosted, it's a common dating term where you're pursuing a love interest, things seem to be going fine, and then suddenly, without any warning or explanation, they completely vanish. Was that for our, like, 50-plus crowd that's listening right now with that explanation? You might not know. Some people may be getting ghosted as we speak and not even realize what's happening. That's That's a real haunting. It is. Uh But if you're single, this has probably happened to you at some point, which is why recently... Somebody on TikTok asked everybody to share the worst ways they've ever been ghosted in their past relationships. Okay. And one woman's story blew everybody else's out of the water. Oh my God, what happened? So her name's Catherine. Her response immediately went viral. And last I checked, it had 5 million views, a million likes, and almost 20,000 comments. Oh Oh my God. Why haven't then. this hasn't shown up in my for you feed? Yeah. And I'm not sure why. You never get ghosted. That's why. Bro. That's yeah, why. Because I'm just bro. an old married woman now. <laughs> so I have a clip of her video. I'm gonna play for you right now. Here we go. I was with a man for two years, and I thought I was going to marry him, have his babies, and spend the rest of our lives together. But then COVID hit, and he unfortunately told me that he thought he had it. <sighs> He said he was thinking about going to the hospital because he felt so bad, but then miraculously he was starting to feel better. Oh. But it was that same day he told me he was feeling better that I never heard from him ever again. He suddenly stopped responding to all my calls, all my texts. Mm. A week later, his phone went right to voicemail. (gasps) I freaked out. I started calling the hospital thinking maybe something happened and he's at the hospital. He wasn't there. I called all the hospitals in the area and he wasn't there. I called the police and filed a missing persons report. And you know what they told me? They told me my boyfriend did not exist. So not only did my boyfriend ghost me by faking his own death, he also had lied to me for two years about his real identity. Wait, what? Like, he's really a ghost. He's not in the system or anything. Wait, girl, you've never been to his house? You've dated this guy for two years? You can't go track him down? Like, I don't understand. They have a lot of excuses. They get to you. Oh, my God. (laughs) Two years, this guy lied to Catherine about his name and everything about him. She never had any idea until he claimed to come down with COVID and then disappeared. Dude, you know, he was either, like, married, had another family, or was some sort of, like, ex convict drug smuggler. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like the other family idea. Mm. I like it. I thought drug smuggler was sexier. <laughs> <laughs> it's just shocking. I don't know how you can go two years lying to somebody first, yeah. but also I know this sounds bad, but when you're with someone for two years, how do you not catch on right. that yeah. they're lying? You're connecting. I mean, but they say love is blind. I mean, it mm. literally, if you are truly feeling like, oh, this is the man of my dreams. I mean, he's just playing into yeah. everything that you want to hear. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it just, it makes you, like, of course, hindsight 2020, she probably feels like a complete idiot mm-hmm. yeah. and sees all the signs and puts them together. Like, but oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He said he was whole. Homeless. That's why he didn't have an apartment. (laughs) A lot of people on TikTok were shocked when they heard Catherine's story. Yeah. And they criticized her former boyfriend. Another person thought maybe he was a spy who had to go full dark mode, which would explain why no. he was using a fake oh, name. that would be super cool. <laughs> but a bunch of people wanted Catherine to show pictures of the guy yeah. and expose oh, yeah. him. She wasn't comfortable doing that. Oh, is that because she made up the whole story herself? Well, here's where the story gets juicier. Because you know the internet never gives up on this stuff. No. You've seen documentaries of people who are like, I'm going to solve this yes. 30-year-old murder <laughs> by yeah. just Google searching. And they do it. Yeah, There's yeah. people searching for Carol Baskin as we speak. <laughs> Somehow, the people of the internet found a picture with her and this guy. No. Oh. They discovered his real name. No. And they what? were able to track the guy down in less than two hours. Oh. But come on, less than two hours and you couldn't have done that in the two years you were together? Yeah. Yeah. Like, where are your girlfriends at? Turns out this guy is actually married. I knew it! Oh! Oh! Which 
Oh. Now makes sense why he was using a fake name yeah. when he was talking to her. Maybe the wife figured out what was going on between him and Catherine and made him break it off. But was the internet satisfied? No. No. Oh, what? What? Come on, they yes, want their more. pound of flesh. You oh, got yes, 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 yes. So what? they went and they found his Facebook. And then yes, found his wife. Did. did they tell her? They started leaving comments on his wedding photos. Oh. Yes. Calling him out. Oh, my God. They, like, snake emojied him. Oh, it's funny. I, I, love like, it. I feel bad at first. I'm like, wait a minute. This guy's a cheater. Yeah, destroy him. Like, yeah. <laughs> so that happened. And were they done? No. Not no. even close. Why? Okay. Oh, my God. At this point, I mean, this guy is living a miserable life. Let's yeah. be honest. He's living a lie. No. He can't sleep at night. This is the he culture that we live in. The internet wants everybody who yeah. ever makes a mistake canceled exactly, forever. Exactly, Jeff. Okay, yep, what did they do? Mistake. So they also oh found out where the guy worked, and what? they started commenting oh, on oh. his work Facebook page oh, and contacted gosh. his employer directly asking for him to be fired for what oh. he's done. Oh, okay. my gosh. I mean, that's, that's, pretty far, that's but... crossing the line. But he's also okay. a liar. Jeff's so. right. That's the internet nowadays. It's 100%. If I was his boss, so I'd be like, wow, he is very committed to what he does. Yeah. He has organized. excellent follow through. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to lose him. Dude, if I was his wife and I was about to divorce him, I'd be like, yo, you're ruining my alimony. Knock yeah. it off. Yeah. I need him to have a job. And his boss is like, wait, I'm married to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> And then the people of the internet went and found his seven-year-old daughter's no. Instagram. No. Do not. Wait, why does his seven-year-old have an Instagram? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That, that didn't happen. Wait, now he's a terrible parent. No, no, he doesn't have any kids. But we don't know what's going to happen next in this story. But Catherine says she has come to terms with the deception. And now she's encouraging all her supporters online to stop commenting on the guy's stuff and just let it be. Oh, that's not going to happen, honey. He's got to no. change his name again. Exactly. Again. <laughs> but I think you can learn a lot of really important lessons. Oh, yeah. It's important to recognize red flags so you can learn going forward. That's true. Which is mm -hmm. why I want to hear from our listeners. Okay. Okay? Oh. Let's help people out with their future relationships. Text in to 78592. Tell us your craziest story about how you got ghosted. We'll do the oh. best ones next. Isn't dating fun? Mm. Sometimes. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we've been talking about a woman from New York named Catherine who's going viral on TikTok today after sharing her crazy story about how she got ghosted by her boyfriend of two years. Oh, oh my, my God. It's so insane. You know, yeah, you're like two dates, I'm getting ghosted. Not yeah. two years. Because yeah. after two years together, one day, her boyfriend said he came down with COVID, told her that he went to the hospital but was starting to feel better. And then that same day, stopped responding and never responded ever again. Wow. The phone a week later started to go to voicemail. And this is what Catherine did next. I freaked out. I started calling the hospital thinking maybe something happened and he's at the hospital. He wasn't there. I called all the hospitals in the area and he wasn't there. I called the police and filed a missing persons report. And you know what they told me? They told me my boyfriend did not exist. So not only did my boyfriend <laughs> ghost me by faking his own death, he also had lied to me for two years about his real identity. Ha! Oh, wow. And I knew it! That scumbag was married! Brooke called, called it. it. <laughs> Afterwards, the internet found out the guy's real name, tracked down his social media within two hours, yeah. and started commenting on his wedding photos, asking him to be fired from his job. It's an insane story, but... I wanted to hear from some of our listeners, too, because mm -hmm. yeah. I know that they probably have some insane dating stories and let yeah. them vent about the crazy ways that they've been ghosted in the past. Or ghosted themselves. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe they were the ghoster. Either way, <laughs> yeah. we, we welcome all sorts of ghosts here. And let's start with Tiffany. Tell us your craziest ghosting story. Okay, so I met a guy online mm -hmm. a couple years ago. We were talking through like a couple weeks through the summer mm -hmm. and then he totally ghosted me and it was like kind of late August and then two weeks later I started my new semester. I was in college at the time and turns out he was my professor. No! Oh, oh my god. No. Oh man. Well I mean maybe he got his class list and he saw your name and he's like yeah. oh I can't mix work. No probably not. No. <laughs> well he clearly didn't plan ahead because I was in his class and it was Super awkward. Yeah. He better have given you an A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did well in that class. <laughs> that was... <laughs> All right. Let's go to Michael. Michael, tell us your craziest ghosting story. 
Well, I'm actually the ghost er. I feel like I need to start with that. Uh, okay. okay. Bad no boy, what'd you no do? Don't judge him yet. Yeah, that's right. Don't judge me yet. I have a very, very good reason. Okay. I was out on our, it was like our third or fourth date. Okay. It had been okay. We went and saw a movie, and she would not shut up oh. the entire movie. Like, she kept whispering to me and, like, asking me questions. And I was like, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie either. That's annoying. <laughs> the absolute final straw was when she pulled out her phone in the middle of the movie to Google the end of the movie and started telling me about it. <laughs> People. So she was uh, ruining the end of the movie. I mean, oh, no. that's that's messed up. But she was just excited. That doesn't give you like you can't know. ghost her because of that. That's mean. I still. disagree. Oh, Absolutely <laughs> ghost worthy. Oh. <laughs> How did you end up ghosting her? Yeah. Oh, I dropped her off at home and then just blocked her number. Oh wow. Oh. She couldn't Google search the end of that, could she? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this going. Maggie, tell us about your craziest ghosting story. Hey, guys. All right. Hey. <laughs> what up, Meg? Someone's been drinking this morning. Hey. Oh, my God. I think she has. I think so. <laughs> What's your craziest ghosting story, Maggie? Okay. I dated this guy for like five months. Okay. But for five months, it was getting really, really serious. Like, we actually met each other's parents. Yeah. 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 I mean... Nice. Five months is yeah. enough time to really know someone and know yeah. if you want to spend a lot of time with them. Yeah. So after five months, out of nowhere, he just stopped answering my calls, my texts. What? For oh. 10 days, I've been trying to contact him. Like 10, I was <gasps> like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, I don't know where to find him. So then I decided after 10 days, okay, this is really weird. Yeah. So I go to his apartment and then I find out through his roommate that he moved to London. Wait, what? What? Whoa. His roommate tells you that he moved to London? Yeah, he moved to London. Cut uh. off all ties with me, blocked me on social media. Oh. What? You have no idea? You have no idea why? I don't know why. Still till oh. today, I don't know why. But here's the interesting part. Oh. Two years later, I'm at a Chipotle around the block. No. From my apartment. No. Oh, no. And behind the counter is the guy working. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. I was, seriously, I just walked outside. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you got to make him make that degrading burrito for you. Or you're the weird lady crying ordering a burrito bowl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the owner is Maggie. Yeah, you remember that you remember? name? Are you going to forget that name? Why are all the customers in Chipotle crying today? <laughs> Shane, tell us your craziest ghosting story. Yeah, so my ex and I, we were down in the Caribbean at the beach, supposedly having a nice vacation. Well, hello. This all sounds great to me so far. I honestly can't remember who started the fight because we had a bunch of rum by that point. But uh, <laughs> We've been there. So the fight was over. Like, you're checking out this person. No, you're checking out this person. So like she was saying I was looking at some other girl. Good. It was a word fight. That's <laughs> yeah. good to clarify. Yeah, that is I, a good I, I didn't want to say yeah. anything. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't know who started yeah. it, but... <laughs> I didn't I even think the other way. I should have okay. led with that. I should have led with that. Yeah, thank uh, you. You're good. Okay, so you guys were arguing. <laughs> correct, correct. Good. So she says, fine, well, I'm just going to go back to the hotel. And I said, fine, I'll see you there. So a couple hours later, a couple more drinks later, I go to the hotel room and... All my stuff is there, but all of her stuff is gone. Oh, and oh. She had used some hotel stationery. You know, they got the pen and the paper there by the phone. Yeah. yeah. So she writes me a note that says, I got a flight home and I left with the guy from the beach. What? Oh, wow. I don't know if that is true or not. I'm guessing she took a flight home, but... Uh, it was the last time I ever saw her was walking away on the wow. sunny sands of Jamaica. And poor guy from the uh, beach, he's like, wait, where are we taking me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being kidnapped. Where are we going, Wisconsin or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to get your heart broken, it's a good setting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's where you want to do it. All right. I think we might have time for one more. Let's go to Mary Ann. Tell us your craziest ghosting story. Hi. Okay. So I was offered two jobs mm -hmm. and one was a great job in the same town where my boyfriend of three years lived. Oh, three years. And then the other was a less great job. It was, it was a fine job, but okay. it was in my dream city. 
So you're uh, obviously picking the one where your boyfriend lives, right? The great she, job right. in the city. But her dream city? I mean, it was my dream city. So I, I mean, I did like think about it. I had a hard time deciding and I asked my boyfriend, of course, and he ended up kind of gently nudging me to take job number one. So uh, to, I could, you know, be in the same town that he was in. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. And then the morning after I accepted, I woke up to him gone, just Gone. Oh. Everything gone. Out of the apartment. Totally ghosted. What? No! Oh my and you God. just made a life decision? <laughs> Wait, you made a life uh-huh. decision based on him and he left? Yeah. Oh! Like, just out of nowhere and I had no idea what happened. What? Finally, uh-huh. eight months go by. Eight months? And wow. one of his friends finally told me that he took a job in my dream city. <gasps> no! Uh, no. So he no just way. didn't want you to live there? I guess he like planned the whole thing out and wanted it to be like oh. a, a, just a clean break, I guess. He was uh, he was probably going to move already and you said, I got this job in the same city you're going to oh. move to. And he was like, don't do that. I feel like he's the one that took your other job. Oh, yeah, you oh, the same no. industry? yeah don't take that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm also applying yeah. for it. <laughs> Oh my God. Our text board is really blowing up right now. Chris, yeah. how common it is. You have so many texts. And I'm so oh, yeah. sorry. I just feel so <laughs> bad for you all. I'll call you back. Yeah. I mean, I'm not your ex, but... <laughs> Brooke's going to be crying over in I, her burrito I bowl do. soon. <laughs> to keep those texts coming. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Let's talk about Hyundai. Do you guys love driving a sporty, fabulous car with great gas mileage? Guess what? Hyundai has done something amazing because they questioned absolutely everything to create the best Tucson ever. Every inch of the all-new Tucson Hyundai has been completely reimagined, resulting in an SUV loaded with available innovations both inside and out. I mean, from the design to the technology to the safety, so important for me as a mom, every aspect of the new Tucson has been improved upon. The SUV has been completely redesigned inside and out to create the best Tucson ever. It's so cute. It's so sporty. It comes in great colors. Plus there's so much tech. Unbelievable. If you guys have not seen this new Hyundai, this is the time to check it out. The brand new reimagined Tucson Hyundai. Learn more at Hyundai.com. That's H-Y-U-N-D-A-I.com. Hyundai.com.